Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. I am absolutely freezing today uh, here in Melbourne, Australia. It is literally like ice. So I'm wearing my uh, fur jacket right now and it's uh, it's shearling actually. So it's really warm. It's absolutely freezing in here. Anyway, massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're new, smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along on this incredible journey, guys. It is absolutely mental. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you do that. Give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It really helps. So give it a good old thumbs up. All right, let's get straight into a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we do not like to lose, but you can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in cryptos, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, formalities are out of the way. Let's go to the community tab. Hopefully this will put some warmth back in you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so have a look at this. Only 0.000018 of the world's population could become XRP millionaires. This is facts right here because not many people are invested in cryptos. So this is the time we have to make money, not financial advice, but have a look at this interesting stuff right here. Now, obviously the um, the account statistics have disappeared. The XRP um, rich list disappeared, which is really annoying, but someone put a snapshot of, uh, of this recently. So I've just retweeted this and I've posted it on my channel. So again, have a look at this. But if you're holding, there's like 2.5 million people that hold 20 to 500 XRP, 175,000 that hold 500 to 1,000 XRP, 330,000 between 1,000 and 5,000 XRP, and so on and so on. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. If you're holding 20 million to 100 million XRP, you're in the whale and super mega whale, megalodon, whatever you want to call it, uh, status right there, 105 wallets. And there's obviously seven wallets there that hold... 1 billion right there and to infinity. Crazy stuff. But anyway, facts right there. Very, very small population. A very small amount of people will become millionaires eventually when this case settles with XRP. Fingers crossed. Anyway, moving on. 6.24 a.m. It was literally like four degrees outside, freezing cold. These are the ones that I'm bullish on right now. So which one do you want to moon? 81% of you want XRP to moon, 8% XDC, uh, you've got 4% XLM and 2% IOTA. And yes, I run out of space right here. So I'll put Hedera, Quant, uh, and Algo as well. Banking coins, they're the ones I'm following. Follow the money. That's where it's going right now. Interesting stuff. Now, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, by the way. Referral link below. Please feel free to use that. You can get $10 in Bitcoin to get you started. Not financial advice. Again, all these prices are in Australian dollars right now, just to clarify. AUD, everything else is set to USD to cater for my awesome audience all over the world. Bitcoin sitting at 42,000 Australian dollars right now. You've got Ethereum at $2,616. That has gone down a lot. Um, honestly, I think that's in, you know, a good buy right now, to be honest. I've seen some pretty crazy predictions about um, Ethereum, but again, I'm not too bullish on it because of all this MetaMask, you know, consensus, all this kind of stuff, and I just don't like it. Anyway, moving on. You've got Cardano at 82 cents, a great buy. I think that's a three-digit project in the future. XRP is at 56 cents right now. There's some updates about the case, which is going to be just ridiculous. You need to read this to believe it. Anyway, keep moving on. Solana's at $57. Dogecoin, 11 cents. You've got Dot at $13. Tron is at 11 cents. AVAX, $33. Shiba Inu as well. I'm still holding my Shiba Inu. Who knows where that's going to go? I don't know. Uh, Maddox at 86 cents. Crow is at 25 cents. New protocol, $7.66. Good buying opportunity right now. You got Stellar at 20 cents right now. Links at $9.99. That is a bargain. You've got Cosmo at, so I call it Cosmo anyway, $13. You've got Algorand at 54 cents right now. Uh, you've got VeChain at 4 cents. There is a video I'm going to show you on VeChain exactly how. It all works with the microchips in the products. Stick around for that at the end. Hedera's at 12 cents. That's bullish as anything. I've seen a few comments what I think about ICP. 
Um, this has really dropped below when I first discovered it anyway. It was like $140 Australian. And now look at it at $11. So again, I don't think it's um, going to hit up at that all-time high again. I don't know. Whatever. If you're interested in it, again, I'm not putting any money into this, but uh, it's up to you, obviously. So I'm not bullish on it at all. I don't hold any ICP. Axe Infinity, $29. Again, I've got a position in that. I sold out of Waves to buy Axe Infinity to stake it. Earn that passive income, but that's not doing too crash hot. Uh, Waves is up 17% to $14 right now. The graph is at 20 cents right now, and that's Web3. Bullish on Web3 projects as well because it's, the Netscape founder has come out with an interview today. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Iota is at 47 cents. Quant is at $98. If this drops back down to like the $80 to $75 mark, I'll probably buy some Quant. And of course, Terra Luna Classic right there, down six point. I believe it's six point there. Let me just have a look. Sorry, it's 8.95. I'm going blind. Too many crypto videos and research right now. It's mental. XDC is at five cents. Definitely a gem. And also XYO. This one here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. 13, oh, like one cent right now. I bought this at like three zeros. I've put videos when I first bought this last year. I think XY is definitely a gem. Geospatial tracking technology. And you can use the coin app to earn passive income. Just something to look at, obviously, if you're interested. And of course, the other one I'm bullish on is Reef. Uh, where we got here. Again, that's under a cent right now, 006. So that's one that I think is going to be well, you know, placed in the future for DeFi. Crypto bubbles. Let's have a look. Okay, on the day, the only one you got here green is Waves right now, up 15% as well. Still at $9.93. I did sell out of Waves to put that into Axe Infinity, but on the week, it's up 87%, which is absolutely ridiculous. All these red circles right now are pretty much buying opportunities when the market is quiet. The sentiment is at an all-time low. The greed, fear and greed index for crypto in general and Bitcoin is at an all-time low as well. This is where real money is made in any investment. When the markets are quiet, there's fear and greed. There's, sorry, there's fear and doubt everywhere. This is the time where people make real money right now. I'm serious. Now, I wanted to show you this. Ripple versus SEC. The case gets a new twist as SEC claims Hinman was a client. Oh. How ridiculous is this? So a long-running legal battle between the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC of the United States and Ripple is still going on. June 7th, game on for that one. A fresh meeting between the US Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple attorneys has been arranged. This is done by the Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn to consider further allegations of the attorney-client privilege, which they're going to be discussing on June 7th. Confidential records relating to William Himmon, a former SEC official, will be at the center of the debate as the reports the SEC filed a second move in late April to keep the Hinman communications under wraps by alleging attorney-client privilege. Just ridiculous. Hinman was a client, not an employee. Can you believe this? So check this out. Hinman was a client of the SEC's attorneys. According to the agency, they provided him with legal assistance on digital assets uh, legal status at, as his speech compl uh, compl uh, sorry, complied with federal securities laws right now. How crazy is this? The SEC claims that because the courts had previously recognized the government officials as customers, this should have been the case this time. As per the SEC scripts of the speech must stay secret because the main aim to release them was to receive legal guidance. There's some stuff in there. I'm, 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 I'm so bullish. I want to read what's in these documents, guys, and these, these internal communications. I believe someone has said XRP is not a security. Facts right there. And there was a denial of regulators' application for review of the deliberative process privilege judgment by the judge in early April. The judge is the of the opinion that the DPP did not protect the agency employees' personal opinions. Let's see what happens here. I just can't believe this news article right here. Now they're going and changing it again. Crazy stuff. June 7th, Ripple lawsuit after victory comes the IPO. Could you imagine what an IPO would do to Ripple? I'd love a piece of that company in my portfolio, just saying. So the XRP crypto lawsuit is underway. Experts have predicted that the trial will conclude anywhere from November 2022 to sometime in 2023. I'm not concerned about that at all. And you got here, the trial seems to be in the right word to use here because a settlement is looking unlikely. The SEC wants Ripple Labs to pay $1.3 billion plus interest. Everyone loves their interest, right? especially these institutions, uh, while Ripple wants the SEC to pay its legal bills. Could you imagine how much the legal bills would be for this? 
I'll be curious. I, I want to send an email to Brad and just say, give me a round figure. How crazy would that be right now? But these don't look like two parties that will reach a compromise. So investors need to prepare for the possibility of a drawn out legal battle. Nevertheless, there is some good news for investors here. Ripple Lab says it plans to go public once the trial is over. Can't wait for that, ladies and gentlemen. In a statement this last week, the company said it would do an IPO making it publicly traded crypto developer. Uh, the development could uh, be an opportunity for XRP holders to invest in the broader Ripple ecosystem. I'd love that. Let me know in the comments below if you'd love that. Moving on, Solana blockchain suffers an outage and I believe it's reactivated right now. And yes, it's the 2nd of June, uh, nearly 7 o'clock at night here. So that has been reactivated. But again, that's pretty scary stuff right now. So Solana is facing downtime after the production of the new blocks on the network has ceased. That's scary stuff as well. So according to the data, Solana Beach Block Explorer, Solana's validators have not processed new blocks for the last five hours, causing a total shutdown of all of its applications. Now, that is scary as well. I'm curious to know if that actually affected the NFTs, the Solana um, NFTs on OpenSea. If you know that, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, moving on. First crypto ETF in Australia sees trading evaporate. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. So Australia got its first exchange-traded products linked to Bitcoin and Ether last month, and investors re uh, reacted with a shrug. There's three ETFs, the CBTC, WETH, and EBTC that launched on May 12th have seen, seen trading volumes collapse, obviously, since they started trading right now. So that's full on. Look at that crash right there. This is May going down 17th, and it's just been on a downward spiral right now. This is the perfect time to buy um, cryptocurrencies and just trade in general. I don't know why there's so much fear and uncertainty and doubt right now. It's just this cycle at the moment where we're at in the entire cycle. This is what's happening. Crazy stuff. Netscape creator says Web3 really is like the rise of the early internet. Now, for me personally, um, if I had the opportunity to go back in time and invest in the early internet startups, you know, I would do that. So again, billionaire tech entrepreneur Mark Anderson Andreessen right there says the current pro proliferation of Web3 uh, and blockchain technology looks like the internet in the late 1990s. Now, this is what I'm saying. We're still early in this space. Everyone needs to realize that and understand what's going on. Do not stay asleep. Stay woke. This is all happening right now in front of our eyes and people are still asleep with this stuff. JP Morgan, except the cookies here, whatever. JP Morgan believes that Bitcoin is currently undervalued sees huge crypto upside potential of course they do a few years ago they hated it called it a scam now they're wanting to do it and doing lending and backed loans crazy stuff right now so despite the overall bearish sentiment in the crypto market strategies at the american multinational investment bank jp morgan believe that there is immense upside potential listen to these guys this is the truth according to the bank strategist bitcoin is undervalued and he's on the cusp of seeing a double digit percentage upswing. Yes, about time. Moving on. Let's go to cryptometer.io. I'm going to refresh this to see where the money has been flowing in the last day. Wait for my phone to load. BNB, you've got SHIB, I believe that is, yes, TRX, CRV, Clay. You've got here Arctic as well, EGLD, FET, TUSD, XLM, Stellar. I'm bullish on that as well. You've got PAX, G, BCH, and Cardano. Now, if I go to the last hour, let's have a look here right now. Okay, you've got Ethereum, USDC, ADA, Solana, Santos, TUSD, Dodo. Don't know what even know these Gala games. I'm bullish on that. Dent, KSC. Now, Dent was one that I was interested in as well. That's definitely a gem. But again, it's got to do with telecommunications. So... We'll see where that one goes as well. That has been on my radar for a while. Let's go to Twitter right now because there's some stuff happening right here. John E. Deaton's ripping the SEC to shreds. Have a look here. Notice how the SEC lawyers say Hidman provided and received confidential communications about the speech. What that means is the SEC is saying even Hidman's comments about the drafts of his speech are privileged. He was giving legal advice and receiving legal advice at the same time. I don't know how the judge can't see that this guy's a nut case. Facts right there. The guy's crazy and they're just avoiding everything. Why can't the judge just see that right now? Crazy stuff. Anyway, have a look at this. Breaking. Thank you, Dennis Porter, for this tweet. This is very fascinating. One out of three Americans who make $250,000 a year say that they are living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. That just goes to show how high the cost of living is going right now. So we all need to make some money right here. 
And again, I think cryptos are the only investment right now that will see a boom very quickly. And it will happen in the blink of an eye, literally in 24 hours, bang, everything's just going to take off. So I hope XRP is that one that's going to lead the charge right there. Ethereum miners generated $1.01 billion in revenue in May 2022. That's insane right there. XRP, that's again the whole graph here, the rich list right there. So go and have a look at that on my Twitter. I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. And also follow me on Instagram. I do post on there occasionally, trying to get that up as well so I can talk a lot more on there. It's a lot easier, obviously. Now, I just want to point out this tweet, and this is why I, I say that now is the time to make money in this space. Have a look at this tweet. Thank you, Makina, for this one. I remember buying Ethereum at $200 and being underwater 60%. Then it went to $4,000 and I became a millionaire. Are you scared of being underwater and refuse to pick up the value where you see it? Life is risk. Start playing ball right now. And that is the legend right there, Scarface. I mean, it's facts right now. I know that a lot of people don't like taking risks, but this is the space that we're in right now. Just saying. Moving on. Now, I just want to play you this video interview right here. Thank you, Jake the Rippler. This is in relation to CBDCs. Have a listen to this. This was at the uh, Bucharest conference. Have a listen to this. This is Ripple uh, exec talking here. More sustainable. So currencies in terms of native cryptos like XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, you know, they're not all the same, right? They're not all created equal. The, um, I think what's becoming much more popular in the industry now is more sustainable technologies. So the XRP ledger and XRP is um, there's no mining or proof of, stake of proof of work or proof of stake involved. So the, the, the computational cost of uh, you know, validating transactions is almost zero, right? Very, very low cost and very stable in terms of, in terms of pricing. Um, stable coins, again, not all created equal. Um, you have a massive range from the algorithmic type stable coins. You know, we all know the Terra story from a few weeks ago. Uh, and then now what we're seeing emerging is um, you know, stable coins being issued by regulated entities. So I can't give you the names yet, but there's two projects we're working on, one in the UK and one in the US, working with banks that are regulated um, who will be issuing stable coins and the reserves um, will likely to be held at a central bank in a central bank account. So very different from the algorithmic uh, stable coin. You know, we, we as Ripple work across all of these technologies. And then, of course, your central bank digital currencies, which uh, essentially is the, um, the highest form of digital currency, right? Issued by the central bank, backed by the central bank, the most secure form. Um, as a company who's working across the, the payment space, you know, we're embracing all of these. We see they will all play their part in the future of, of money. Um, I mean, today, cryptocurrency is less than 1% of all the money. Central bank money is less than 10%. The rest is all commercial bank money. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, in five or 10 years, you know, how does that look when it's all digitized? You know, will stable coins be 90% of the market and CBDCs 10%? Or will CBDCs actually be allowed to grow and be a much higher percentage of the money supply? I, I don't... That's facts right there. Um, did you hear that? So... In my opinion, again, Jack the Rippler, XRP is going to be used by central banks right now to bridge CBDCs. This is what I'm saying. There's so much happening behind closed doors that it hasn't even been made public right now. And again, I can't wait to see the full utility of XRP and Ripple's technology right now, as well as all my other favorite coins uh, in regards to the banking sector anyway. So moving on, Johnny Deaton right here, Judge Depp Netburn ruled that that it is settled and that Hinman's speech was his personal opinion. It does, doesn't does mean that the market didn't consider it as guidance right now. It is very unlikely a judge uses the terminology and then rule, <clears throat> excuse me, rules otherwise. The SEC should be ready for some, um, I can't even pronounce that, they're poignant, poignant and uh, tough questions. Sorry for my bad English right there. This is taking place here now. This is Jeremy Hogan. Uh, he's taking bets on whether the SEC will argue Hinman's speech was one, his personal opinion, two, the divisions, and three, the SEC's opinion at the hearing. Place your bets right now. You can call in to listen to this, and I'm sure that their phones are going to be limited to some reason. I'll be curious to see what happens, but this call will take place, obviously, when we're asleep here in Australia. So I will be relying on my awesome community. So you guys are in the hot seat right now if you're in New York or in the United States, dial in, try to get this number right here. 
you can see it right there. So uh, have a look at that and uh, see if you can get in a call there right now. It'd be cool. Goldman Sachs included crypto for the first time in its annual insurance survey. That's bullish as well. And again, this is in relation to uh, Janet Yellen and all of these, um, you know, old people that are running the entire space right now. It's pretty crazy. So he's saying we need new blood in our government leadership roles. The same old players that served in previous administrations need to retire and go away. A new era demands new leadership. I agree right now. I think it's time for them to enjoy their lives and move ahead anyway. Uh, Singapore Central Bank, we welcome responsible crypto innovation. I agree. Fear and greed index eight hours ago is at 13 right now, all-time lows. The global cryptocurrency market has dropped $1.29 trillion from its all-time high of $3 trillion. I think by the end of this year, we will see this hit that mark very easily and go higher than this. Just saying, I've seen some pretty crazy predictions that the total market for the crypto space will hit about eight trillion. Just saying, that sounds crazy, but it can happen in time. So just stay positive. Solana Network is now operational. JP Morgan says the economic hurricane is coming right now, and I think that's true. I think inflation is like double digits right now at the way we're all going. Let's go to coin market cap. The total market is 1.2 trillion today, $96 billion in volume, 42.6%, sorry, 46% BTC, 17% Ethereum, 19,700 cryptocurrencies. Again, I think the ICOs have dropped off significantly as this is, you know, hasn't really moved since then, you know, late or mid last year, ICOs were going crazy. And again, we're in the reds at the moment. And again, here is my portfolio, and I'm only focusing on my banking coins at the moment. XRP, Stellar, Algorand, Hedera, IOTA, Quant, and XDC. Also, Web3. These are my Web3 projects right here. Polkadot, Chainlink, Filecoin, uh, BitTorrent, Theta Network as well. I know some people hate it. Hasn't really moved and done very well. It was like at 14 Australian dollars when I was buying it. I've locked that away into cold storage. So that's just another one. The Graph, Kusama, Seacoin, Casper, Flux, Ocean Protocol, NKN, Marlin, Handshake, Kin is a definitely an undervalued gem, I think, anyway. Uh, what else we've got here? Raise Network, Graph Link, and Altera as well. These are my Web3 projects that I'm looking at. Chainlink is definitely one for my portfolio. I haven't got any in there at the moment, but I'm definitely going to be adding it. But that's pretty much it for today's video, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for sticking around. It is absolutely freezing in here. I need to go home. We'll speak to you in the comments and the community tab. I love talking with everyone in there. If you've stayed this long to the video, thank you so much, you absolute gem. Love you. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Peace. Bye.